In this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new program that can help you quickly call your photos and uses AI to do it. The clock work. The software is called Optics, and it was actually built by my cousin Patrick. Rachel and I were beta testers on it, and we told him what features we really wanted to see in photo calling software, and what he ended up building was really cool, so we decided to make a video about it. A quick disclaimer, as I mentioned, the software developer is my cousin, but we have not been paid, nor do we have any financial interest in the company. Heck, we don't even have an affiliate link. And there's a full featured free version available, so you don't even have to spend any money. Okay, so you know how Lightroom can be sluggish and it can take a while to go through a batch of photos? Well, in the past, we've recommended using Photo Mechanic to cull your photos and then import it into Lightroom to save some time. The problem is Photo Mechanic costs about 140 bucks, which is kind of steep if you don't make a lot of money doing photography and can't really rationalize the purchase on a utility. So today we're taking you through Optics, which you can actually get for free at optics.app and you can get it for Mac or Windows. The free version lets you call up to 100 photos at a time. And if you want to do more than that, let's say you shot a wedding of 2,000 photos, you can get the paid version, which supports unlimited photos for 100 bucks. Either way, it's cheaper than Photo Mechanic. So when you first launch the app, the first thing it'll ask you to do is to create a shoot. I'll load up a wedding for this example. So I'm going to give the shoot a title, click Create, and then select all of my raw photos. It may warn you that for optimal performance, it wants your photos to be on your internal drive, but I've always just used an external SSD and never had a problem. If you have hundreds of photos like I do here, it may take a minute or two because first it's gonna build previews so you can quickly look through your photos. Then it's gonna analyze the photos so it can perform some AI functions. If you see the info icon over your thumbnails, those photos still need to be analyzed. Once the icon disappears, you'll be good to go. First, I wanna show you how fast you can preview your images. I'll just double click and then use the arrow keys. If you wanna manually pick your selects, just hit P on the keyboard to mark a photo. You can also use a star rating system with the one through five numbers on your keyboard or use color labels by holding shift and using one through five on your keyboard. You can also combine all three methods if that's something you're into. If you ever forget, just go to the top under photos and we have our three set categories right here. Okay, let's get back to the grid view. Let's check out one of the coolest features, auto group. Auto group will group like photos so that you can easily pick the best shot from a series. You can have the software group more photos together by dragging the similar content slider to the right, or you can be more strict in its grouping, meaning the photos have to be nearly identical by dragging the slider to the left. I'm gonna leave it in the middle to start. Under time, this allows you to tell the software what photos should be considered in a group based off the timestamp that the photo was actually taken. Basically, if you took a photo in the morning and then six hours later you took the same exact photo, it would only be grouped together if you set your time slider to six hours or greater. For this wedding, I'm gonna set the time to five minutes. Now I'm gonna click Run. You can see virtually instantly it's made groups for us. Look for a number plus the group icon on the top right of your thumbnails to see a group. If you see a lot of similar photos that you think should be grouped together, you can tweak the sliders until it's grouped just how you'd like. Click continuously regroup current selection and then drag the sliders. You can also manually group photos by selecting them and then hitting G on your keyboard. Let's check out a group. I'm gonna double click on this one. And on the bottom of the screen, we can see all the photos included in the group and use the right and left arrow keys to navigate. You can see it's done a really good job of grouping similar photos together, which makes calling all the easier. Okay, let's see some more AI culling at work. Let's click on the auto cull tab. Here we have different types of culling profiles. So to fully understand how it works, I'm gonna click on the gear icon. Here we can see how each profile is gonna tag our photos. Let's check out the portraits profile. The sharpest photo in the group is gonna get a two-star rating. Also, the happiest faces will get a two-star rating. Now, if you have a bunch of group photos, it's gonna give the best photo of each combination of people a three-star rating. The best overall, which takes into account all parameters such as faces and sharpness, will get a four-star rating. And then if you have any photos that aren't in a group, those will get a three-star rating so that you can manually decide if it's a keeper. Any photo that doesn't match any of these conditions will not have a rating. You can also make your own custom profile based off how you'd like to cull and want your images sorted. Keep in mind that each action builds upon the one before it. So for instance, if we put the sharpest at the bottom, if the best overall is also the sharpest, it will be rated two instead of four. 
So if you make your own profile, really think through how you want your ratings to work. It's all a little tricky to understand, so let's see it in action. I'm gonna click Run. Now we can see we've got star ratings. We can open up the filters and only look at our four star photos. We can also make any changes, add flags, colors, etc. We can also just set the filter to equal to or greater than two stars and then select all and import into a new Lightroom catalog. All of our ratings are written to the metadata of each photo, so our star ratings are still intact inside of Lightroom. So even if you think AI is crazy and don't want to end up like Will Smith in iRobot, you can always just manually call an optics. I like to use the picker, it's just P on the keyboard, and you can save a bunch of time because all the previews load instantly. Optics is a really cool app, so go grab it for free, play around with it, and save a bunch of time calling your next shoot. See you in the next one.